literally nothing I say can be trusted. Right? Just finished doing a video earlier today saying I was going to do like a three-month hiatus. That I'd have to push back Malazan. Not, not push back Malazan, but uh, slow down with Malazan. And I have a couple other things on the go currently uh, midway through Prophet of Adan, which I will continue on. And I've actually liked it a lot. Uh, a lot more than the first book, even. Um, which, which is, uh, it's encouraging um, because I, you know, because of some of the wild things that I want to do with mine, um, you know, it's going to be a little zany for some of the artistic choices and stuff in there where uh, I think a publisher wouldn't really, you know, I just want to do my own things. I want to have all control of it the whole way through. Um, so that's why, anyway, also have a 2001 A Space Odyssey, which I surprisingly have never read. Um, I'm in that as well. Uh, but, but the goal still, you know, I'm still going to do, I'm still going to do my, uh, I do have to slow down with these last two books a little bit so that when September hits, which is going to be in another 10 days that I can, uh, make sure that I slot back in my writing that I really, really, really want to finish with. I've done all these different portions of what I've been writing over the last few years, very scatterbrained and like sometimes in short story form and sometimes in these other formats. And, um, I have a lot, I have a lot that I would like to do and fall is my best time for, for doing that. So, uh, I have to balance a lot. Now, um, that being said, as soon as I said that I would have to slow down with Malazan. I was like, oh shoot, now I want to know what the heck is in Dust of Dreams. So I think I'm going to break it open. And I know if I do that, it's going to make it so I'm having to get through these other two books, finish those off and get to the prologue. Um, but yeah, I, I think I just have to find some sort of schedule that works. So don't worry that it's going to stop. Um, just need to find a schedule that works. And I think if I do those uh, reaction clip videos where I'm not highlighting everything, um, or I'm not highlighting and going back and rereading it and then going and doing it in front of you guys, I think if I just do the immediate reaction things, that will maybe solve part of the problem. But let's let's uh, let's break open Dust of Dreams. This thing's huge. Got to use copy for this one. Um, not going to read the back here. I just read in war, but then I stopped myself. Okay. Opening it up, opening it up. Let's see. 10 years ago, I received an endorsement from an unexpected source from a writer. I respected and admired a friendship born in that moment is one. I deeply treasure. The love and gratitude gratitude i dedicate this novel oh with love and gratitude i dedicate this novel to stephen r donaldson that's cool okay contents book one is called the sea does not dream of you i mean okay uh eaters of diamonds and gems only the dust will dance the path forever walked okay i wonder if this has a glossary like some of those earlier ones did doesn't look like it dang i really relied on that for the first few books okay we are in the empire of leather now uh thinking back on that if we are back there we have emperor tail he's an emperor right or is he the king of leather I, I can't recall uh we have a bunch of the bone hunters there 
We have the wildlands that are still at the east, which we haven't really explored. Which maybe maybe that's what we're gonna be up to. Hmm. Okay. Dramatis personae. We have the Malazans, like Adjunct Tavor, Quickben, Kenneb, Blistig, Lestara, Banischar, which I was never able to pronounce that very well. And I have to speak kind of quiet because my kids are in bed. Kindly, Scanero, Ferret and Sort, Ruth and Gud, Good, uh, Fast, Untili Rum. Are these some of those new ones? Those, yeah, I don't recognize that one. Pores, Sin and Grub, The Squads, Fiddler, Tar, Korok, Smile. Okay, there's probably going to be a whole bunch of. Oh man, we have like a huge list of people in the squads. And just looking through these, these are the people who I haven't always given the best chance to. But I'm going to remedy that and I'm going to slow down and uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to really enjoy this one. Make sure I enjoy the journey. We have the, the Kundril. Are those the weird demon guys from Midnight Tides? That would be cool to get there. War Leader Gaul. Hanavat, Gaul's wife. And then we have this list of more of them. Okay, that'd be cool. The Parish Greyhelms. We have a Mortal Sword, a Shield Anvil, Industrian. The Bolkando, Chancellor Rava, and Avalt, Princess Felast. Like these are a whole bunch of new people. The Lethery, King Tehel, Queen Janath, Chancellor Bug, Cedabug. Treasurer bug. Okay. He's got a lot of hats. Preta normal Preta Norlo Trum. Fifid. Jeez. Spansard. Oh come on, Steven Erickson. Uh Saren Pedak. Yantovis Twilight the Watch. Uh Bryce. Okay. Sida. Shirkalal. Alright. Alright. I mean, I'm not as excited as I was going into Toll the Hounds with all these people I haven't seen for a long time. But that don't uh, don't mistake that for me not being interested in this. But man, there's a lot of new people. Holy smokes! Who but? <laughs> Ursto who but? Okay. The Bargast. Oh, I love the Bargast. And we have War Leader Unos Tulan, who uh, is still War Leader. We have Heaton and all those guys. Awesome. I love the Bargast. Uh, I loved that scene in Midnight Tide or Memories of Ice with Trots fighting. Holy smokes, this just keeps going. The the Akrin Akrini Scepter Urculus Gav. Okay. Forkwell Assail. So we do have Forkwell Assail. Around. And I wonder which one was that uh, from House of Chains. Like we've had, we've had that one. We had a Forkwell Assail in Midnight Tides like Frozen. With like a, you know, it's her, her or his head broken out. We had the Forkwell Assail mentioned in the prologue of Reaper's Gale with Kelmandaros. But we haven't really seen them. Don't know where they're chilling or if they are chilling together. That'll be cool. The Snake. Rut. Held. Beddal. Visto. Siddick. Holy smokes, there are a lot of characters, guys. <laughs> okay. Onrak. These are eye masks. We have Imas, and then we have, yeah, on Onrak, Kalava, Prawl, or Imas. Then we have Talan Imas, which are ones that are more, like, connected to the ritual still, right? It's probably a good thing that I keep going with this. Holy smokes. Then we have the Jagat. Verandas, Hout, Suvulas, Burugast, Get... Gedoran. 
Gathro, Sanad, Kachain Shamal. Okay, so if if we have some named Kachain Shamal, that must mean that they're talking. That must mean that they're doing stuff. They're not like totally out of it. And then others. Silchus Ruin, Rudalal, Talorist, Kirtle. Right, those two. I forgot about those two. Uh, the Errant, Knuckles, Kilmandaros, Repose Male. Uden. Bug has been mentioned four times in this. Um, unless those other people aren't really him and they're like people who've taken like his last name or something. Uh, Olar, Ethel, Udenis, Ikarium. Okay, so it was not done with him. Draconis, right. Hood. Riad Elize Sheb Taxilian Veed Forgot about Veed Asane Asane Breath Last Napit Rautos Sandalith Drucola Man some of these Holy smokes Yeah This is a complex Freaking series Withal Mape Rind Rind Pool Bent Roach Cartographer Forgot about that guy uh, Maple Runt. Actually, no, I didn't forget about that cartographer. He's like the coolest. Okay, so Gruntle, Ambi, Faint, Precious Thimble, they'll show up in this. And again, so notable standouts of people who aren't here. Um, Ganos. Waiting for Ganos again. Waiting for maybe Absalar. Uh, Cutter, I assume, is on his way to see Absalar. Maybe that'll be in the last book. Uh, we have... Who else is missing? Like, uh, uh, you know, Kalor is not in this. In this Dramatis Personae. Um, the Mekar. Callum. We assume that maybe he's dead, but maybe not. Tool and all those people that were fighting chaos. Maybe they're going to re readjust and come at uh come at things again but i don't know anyway oh man okay so let me just see how long the prologue is just so i have that going for me it starts in east plant uh no El El elan plain west of Coloance. Colo Colance. oh i'm such a bad reader for as much as i want to write like i can't read out loud um, or speak out loud. Okay. So. Goes from, it looks like it's about 22 pages. So at some point this week, I will get to that. And I'll give my immediate reaction as we're going through that. Sometimes it takes me a little while to process it. Like I'll do it a few times. Um, but in that case, I'll, I'll give my immediate reaction and then maybe come back to it. But we'll see. And I will talk to you guys on the next one whenever whenever that is don't be don't be alarmed when i'm like i'm going to do this hiatus thing it's mostly me just trying to process how this is going to work and if if something has to drop uh it will have to be slowing down malazin because i do have you know i have things with my kids which it takes a lot out of me uh i'm not out of me but like it demands my time that's what i meant <laughs> uh i have other interests that that take my time as well and uh, as well as my writing which i've put off almost for a year now since i started malazan uh, as far as like formally writing things i've kept adding to my story but uh i haven't been able to formally do something so my goal is my goal is to at least have that that first draft uh, officially done for for that first book so Anyway, I will talk to you guys very shortly, whenever that is.